Alright, so now let's talk about data blending in Tableau. But first, some coffee. Let's go. All right, so now let's have this example where we have in the data source table A, and now in the visualization level, we want to use the data from the field F1. And you know by now, Tableau gonna send a query to the data source in order to get the data of the F1 from the table to show it in the visualization. And now since this data source was the first one to be queried and to be used, and Tableau gonna call it a primary data source, and in Tableau, anything is primary gonna get the blue color. That's why you will see like blue icon in indicates that this data source is a primary one. And now sometimes you are in a situation where we want to get the data from another data source. For example, we have another data source with a table B and we want to add the visualizations to show the data of F4. So what gonna happen? Tableau gonna send another query to the second data source in order to get the data of F4 and then the data can be forwarded to the visualizations. And here Tableau gonna call this data source as a secondary data source and it will mark it with an orange icon. And now in order for this to work, where we're gonna get data from two different data sources, we have somehow to connect them. And here exactly, we're gonna use the very unique way in Tableau, where we can connect data sources together using the data blending. And data blending can only be done at the visualization level on the worksheet page, not in the data source. So now you might ask how Tableau is joining those tables at the visualization level. Well, Tableau is using a left join. We cannot change that, sadly, it is fixed. Since it's like a left join, Tableau gonna get all the data from the primary data source and only the matching records from the secondary data source. So now to summarize, data blending is the method of combining data at the visualization levels from two different data sources using a left join. And this is very unique feature in Tableau. You don't find it in any other BI tool like Microsoft Power BI. You cannot, for example, there combine data from two different published data sets. All right, so now let's see how we can do data blending in Tableau. And for this, we need two data sources. The first one gonna be from the CSV files that we have from the small data sets. So we're gonna go to the text files and let's take the products over here. So this is our first data source. And now let's go and create the second data source. In order to do that, you can go to this icon over here and then click on new data source. So let's go there. It's gonna be from the JSON file that I prepared for you. So let's go to JSON and we have the product prices. So let's open that. Since it's JSON, we have to select the schema. So let's go to the data over here and click yes, and then click okay. So now we have two data sources. In order to switch between them, we go again to this icon over here and you can see we have now two data sources and by just selecting the data source, you will switch to it. And now in order to do the data blending and to connect those two data sources, we cannot do it at the data source page. We have to go to the visualization level to the worksheet page. So let's do that. I'm gonna go to the sheet one over here. And as you can see at the data pane on the left side, we have two data sources and by just clicking on them, you can switch in order to see the tables inside them. So now we have to decide which data source is the primary and which one is the secondary. For this example, I will say that the product is the primary one. And how are we gonna do that? By just using the data in the visualizations as the first data source. So I'm just gonna take the product ID, drag and drop it on the rows, and immediately Tableau gonna understand okay this is the primary data source and it's gonna mark it with a blue icon over here indicating that this is our primary data source we still don't have a secondary data source so you see there is no orange icon over here because in our view we have data only from one data source so now in order to get the data from the second data source we're gonna switch to the product prices and you can see tableau immediately turn this data source as a secondary data source so you can see over here we have the orange icon indicating that this is secondary data source and any field that we are using it's gonna mark it with orange so you can see over here the price it has an orange icon so that's it it's very simple so now let's say that the product id is not the key of order to join those two data sources you want to change that in order to do that we're gonna go to the data over here in the menu 
and then go to the edit blend relationships let's click on that so we'll get a new window over here and here we have two options automatic and custom if you leave it as automatic tableau gonna figure out which key to join those data sources and here in this example is the product id but if you want to change that so you can go to the custom over here it's like join you have to specify from the left and from the right which fields are the key in order to do the join so if you want to change that just double click on it and then you have on the left side the primary data source and the right side the secondary data source and then you select the fields that are the key for the join so i'm gonna leave it as it is and let's add another key so i will go over here and add for example the category is from the left side and from the right side the data index which is really wrong so let's click ok and then again okay you will see on the left side now we have another chain on the data index and you can see it's like broken chain so that means it is not yet used in the join if you want to activate it just click on it and you will see we have an active chain and now as you can see the result is wrong because it doesn't make sense to use this key but i just want to show you how you can deactivate and activate the key of the join between two data sources by just clicking on them so now let's just correct this i want to have only the product id as the key for the join so that means i'm going to deactivate the data index over here and that's it this is how you can define the key for the data blending and now one thing that is very important to understand is that everything that we've done in the data blending is only relevant for this worksheet so if i go to another worksheet let's go over here and create a new one and now as you can see over here it's completely reset the two data source we have it again but we don't have it as primary and secondary data sources that means in each worksheet we can make a new decision so at the sheet number one the products were the primary i can change my mind here where i can say okay the product prices now is the primary data source so if i take anything over here you can see product prices is the primary and if i go to the products and let's say i'm gonna take the product name over here products gonna be the secondary so i just switched between them depending on the requirements so if we go back to the sheet number one we see that the product is the primary but if we go to the sheet number two the product prices now is the primary this is really nice because it gives us really flexibility where we can decide in each worksheet which one is the primary and which one is the secondary depending on our requirements so data blending is very unique and great way on how to connect and combine data all right so with that you have now an overview of all four methods of combining tables and next we will go and compare them side by side and we will start with the differences between joins and union and if you like my content and you want to support the channel then i really appreciate it if you support like and comment this is really gonna help the youtube algorithm thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye